Hi, welcome. In this video, we are going to talk about the anatomy and physiology of the mammary gland. But first, let us define what is mammary gland. The mammary glands, also called mammae, are modified to the referous or sweat glands that produce milk for the nourishment of offspring. They develop from bilateral thickenings of ventrolateral ectoderm of the embryo, the so-called milk lines, which are more correctly referred to as the mammary ridges. The mammary ridges extend from the auxiliary region or armpit of the conceptus to the inguinal region. The number of mammary glands that develop from the mammary ridges depends on the species. Dog and cat, they have a series of individual glands that develop at predictable positions along the entire path of the mammary ridges. For the humans, apes, and elephants, they have paired mammary glands that develop from the thoracic portion of the mammary ridges. And for the cow, mare, ewe, and goat, they have mammary glands that develop from the inguinal region of the mammary ridge. In ruminants and horses, individual glands are associated so closely to one another that they are commonly referred to a single other. The individual nature of glands of the other is readily appreciated by the presence of a single teeth or papilla for each gland. A single as in ruminants or multiple as in the mare and sow, duct system may discharge milk at the tip of each teeth. The entire exterior surface of the mammary gland is covered by skin. Each species has not only distinct locations and numbers of mammary glands, but also varying numbers of ducts or openings or tits. Do you know that the embryonic ectoderm is the source of the mammary glands? Next will be discussed is the internal anatomy or the internal functions involved in the mammary gland. So first, the suspensory structures or the supportive structures. A strong other suspensory system is required to maintain proper attachments of the gland to the body. The mammary gland is a skin gland and is external to the body cavity. So the system of ligaments and other tissues which attach the other to the animal are critical for successful lactation. Next is the blood supply. The blood supply to the mammary gland is extremely important for mammary function. All of the milk precursors come from blood. To produce one liter of milk, 500 liters of blood have to pass through the other. Then the lymphatic vessels as lymphatic drainage that plays a significant role in the pathology and treatment of breast cancer. Next is the milk production, collection, and transport systems. Milk contains all the nutrients necessary for survival and initial growth of mammalian neonates. The nutrients in milk include the sources of energy, or lipids and carbohydrates, proteins to provide amino acids, vitamins, minerals for electrolytes, and water. Lastly is the primary immune system defense. The skin and stray canal have these physical and chemical barriers against bacterial invasion. Also, the keratin which contains antimicrobial agents that assist in combating infections. And that's it for this video. I hope you have learned something. 